All right, I want to do this quick video over one of the largest problems that I see on the forums and user groups, and that is new users of the X Air and X32 having problem getting their effects to work. This video is only going to cover aux type effects. Behringer also calls that side chain, and this is not inserting the effects, and that's something that people are doing they shouldn't be doing. So if you want reverb, you're simply going to use an aux or sidechain style effect routing to get that done. So on the X32 app here that I have open, and I also have the X Air app down here, so I'm going to show you ways to do them on both. Since the apps are so similar now, it's going to make sense. So in this case, we, we want to get rid of everything that we've done and just practice this one step. I've seen guys that have already started building up, you know, 20 or 24 channels or 18 channels on their X Air and they get to this last part and can't make it work. And usually by then, they've already clicked so many wrong things that it's actually a problem to figure out what they've done uh, to make this not work. So just do a simple test like I've got here, a clean slate, microphone in one, and simply make sure that you've got your channel one going out to your left right bus, and we can hear the left right coming out of our speakers or our headphones. If everything has already been defaulted to your effects, you're going to have a reverb on effects one, a reverb on effects two, and I put a delay on three and combinator on four. So whatever the default is will work fine. All right, and at this point, there's a few ways to make sure that we can send channel one to the effects bus. And the first way is to simply grab the bar here and pull that bar out for effects one. We can also do it on effects two as well. And so that's going to be sending part of this signal to an auxiliary bus at the same time that our channel is going to the left right bus. So at this point, we've not accomplished anything except sending it somewhere that's not doing anything. And the next thing we want to do is find out, well, where is this going? And it's really good to be able to think like the routing here. So we now have part of this signal going to two places. And that's going to be to the effects bus. Those happen to be right here on 13 and 14. And you can see that this is also paralleling what I'm doing here. So this is what we call sends on fader mode. A lot of guys like to mix with sends on fader. And of course, you can also pull the send out here. And you can actually go up here to your sends and do it on sends here. And again, you notice that mirroring it down to the large fader. So those are three ways that you can physically send part of the signal of channel one into the effects bus. Now, the next thing we see here is that I've got this signal coming over to my master effects send. I call it verb one, and we can see it going here. Now, there are two things that can go wrong here. One is that you've got this master down, so, so it will never go to the effect. Remember, at this point, we're still pre-effect. We're not even reaching the effect yet. So this signal is not getting there because this is down. And the other thing you want to make sure, of course, is it's not muted. If that's muted or this is down, you'll never see any signal into your effect one. Let's go check that real quick. So over here on effect one, I've got nothing coming in. And if you think that simply by turning this up here or here, you should be seeing effect on effect one. Well, that's not the case because you've got your master effect send muted and your master effect send down. If we turn that up, Look what happens up to our effect. Now, up in the effect, you see that it's coming in and it's coming right back out. So the next thing we need to do is get this output to come back into our board, and that's called the return. Okay, we'll come back to the mixer, and you'll notice that we've got um, all of our channels here, but we want to go back into the other inputs, the aux and effects inputs, and you'll see that they're sitting right here. Now, let's go back to our left, right. Very important that we make sure we do this on the left, right. And we can see that the effect is coming in right here on effects one left and right. So of course we're muted, so I can unmute that. And we can immediately hear this reverb return. And I can turn that down and mix it the amount that I want. It's a short ambient reverb. Of course I can come in and, and change these parameters to make it something larger. Uh, this is the mute. And you'll see that this right here, I wish they would call this mute. It's not logical what it's going what it's doing there, but if they would make it a red button just like this, it would remind us that this is the channel return mute. And so now it's unmuted. So I can come over here now and do the same thing with effects two. 
back over here. So I've got effect two on bus 14. And the reason I'm not seeing that effect is because the effect send is all the way down. And I can come back over here to effects two and I should be seeing it here. And of course I know I'm muted. And if I turn that mute off, I hear effects two. So I've got two reverbs on my vocal right now. You can clearly hear that. Come back to the mixer, go back to our effects returns, go back to left, right, and we see those right here. Now let's take a look at this same procedure on X-Air. It's gonna be very similar. I'm gonna show you this just in theory since I don't have my mic hooked up, but uh, here's my vocal channel here. And you'll see that I don't have any of the four effects sends. If I pull this out, that's sending it to effect one, sending it to effect two, I want to come down to effect number one. I can tell that uh, this is not muted. I do have the send turned up, and then I can come over here to my effects. I see that there's nothing inserted here, which is good. So at this point, I would be getting my input and output to and from the effect. And then the last thing I need to do is come back to my main mix tab and see that I have my effects turned up. So at this point, I'm sending effects to the aux buses into effects one, unmuted fader master fader up and then it's returning right here on the left right to this so they work in the exact same way so if you have any questions come join one of our behringer user groups behringer x air or the new behringer xxx which covers behringer x32 x air and x touch